Hey, how's it going? Parker Walbeck here with FullTimeFilmmaker.com. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import and use Mogert files or motion graphic template files within Premiere Pro 2023 to help your edits come to life with animated text, titles, and backgrounds. Now, I provided for you a free Mogert file that we've created at Fulltime Filmmaker that you can download and do with me here in this tutorial today. So make sure to download that first if you'd like to follow along. If not, Adobe also has a bunch of free options or they also have paid Paid options and there's a ton of paid options to buy Mogert files from other third parties as well. But let's go ahead and dive in. So first steps first, let's import a Mogert file. The way you can do that is by coming up here to your workspaces. Make sure you are in the caption and graphics panel. And then here in your essential graphics window, make sure you have clicked my templates. And you see here, I already have some of Peter McKinnon's downloaded. He has an awesome pack that I've used a lot. But like I mentioned, we've created our own. And so I'm now going to import those. So once you've downloaded a Mogert file to your computer, the next step would be to come over here in the bottom right corner and click on this icon to import. Now I'm gonna to go to my downloads where those Mogert files are at, and you can't import them all at the same time, so you gotta do it one by one, but I have 10 different files here. So I'll go ahead and import all of those individually, and you see that those all populate in your My Templates folder here. Now, if you haven't bought any and don't have any to import, if you go over here to Adobe Stock and then click on the free option, Adobe has a bunch of Mogert files that you can use for free, and the way you'd import one of those is just to find one you like, hit the download button, and now if you come to my templates, you will now see that that is available in your library as well. So let's now show you how to use a Mogert file. First, you're gonna pick the one you wanna use. I'll pick Scramble Title Center, one of the ones we've created, and then you just drag it and drop it onto your timeline. Then go ahead and play it back. And now you have an animated title that animates in, and in our case, animates out. And now if you wanna edit them, just click on the clip or go from the Browse window to the Edit window, and then you'll see all these parameters to edit the text, colors, and so forth. So on this title, let's say I wanna change the name to my brother, Stockton Walbeck, even though this is me talking in the talking head, and we'll change it to the business he runs, which is Course Creator Pro. And let's say he wants to make that a little bit bigger. He can change the font if he wants, change the thickness, We'll just keep it as it was. And within our specific Mogert file, I like having the ability to change the color of just a specific word of a title, not the entire title. And so with ours, you can do that by putting asterisks around the word that you want to highlight a different color. So we'll just do creator and add asterisks around that word. And then you'll see that that now turns red or whatever color you have in this option here. So this highlight color from title one corresponds to this title, and then title two highlighter corresponds to title two. And then if you didn't like the color red, you could pick whatever color you wanted. Red is on branding for us, so we will keep it there. And then right here, you see a drop shadow option. By default, it is on about halfway. Let's just put that up more so you can see it in action. Increase the shadow distance, maybe increase the softness, or turn it off if you don't want it at all. And then if you want the shadow direction to match the way the light's coming in, which is from right to left, then we can flip the shadow around by putting it on this side. And now the shadow is on the same side as the shadow of my subject. Now, last feature to mention here is that if you come up to the titles again, there's a second drop down menu here that allows me to change each title's entire color, like so. And if you don't like the spacing between titles, you can raise or lower to create a bigger gap, and you have a tracking option to create more spacing between each letter. So that's a basic look at how a Mogert file works, how you use it. Different Mogert files will have different parameters you can adjust and change. Now, the cool thing about this, and let's just adjust this a little bit position-wise, bring it down. Now let's go back to our Browse tab, and I'm gonna pull up a background file. We'll do background swipe right. I'm gonna pull this in and I'm gonna stick it underneath that text file. So now let's play that back. And now you see both animations, the text and the background animating at the same time. It did drop some frames there because we have two layers, it's getting heavier. So to help with that, you might wanna reduce your resolution to half. But within this background file we just added, this also has parameters we can adjust by clicking on it. And we can adjust the swipe accent color if we want. But again, we were already on brand, so we'll leave that as red. 
We can change the background color if we wanted that whole thing to be red. Personally, I'm gonna stick to black. And then you can change the opacity if you wanted this to be very light or if you wanted it to be completely black. We have these set to where we like to begin with, so we'll keep that at 70. And you can also adjust the height if you have more or less text. And then softness is just going to feather this edge right here if you don't want it to be an abrupt line. You can just soften that up like that so it slowly blends in with the rest of the background. And then maybe raise the height a little bit after that. So now let's play back our final animation. And there you have it. Now let's take a look at one more example. Let's go back to our Browse tab and let's pull in the free Adobe one that we downloaded and just drag and drop. And we'll play it back, see how it looks. All right, so it's not in the position we want. Also, it doesn't have my colors and fonts, so we're gonna do some editing. So click on it, come to the Edit tab, and this one actually has four different styles that you can choose from. I'm just gonna choose this last one here. Then come into Global Controls, and this looks like it's built for 1080, but my timeline is 4K, so I'm gonna double the size, 200%. And then I'm going to adjust the position, and it doesn't allow me to adjust as far as I want. So in that case, you're gonna to have to come over to your effects control panel and edit the motion of the entire thing, like so. Now we'll come to our text control and I'm gonna change the text to Parker Walbeck and the subtext to full-time filmmaker. And you can see that it's cutting this off, so I actually have to come up to global position and bring it back, there we go. And then let's say I want to increase the size of my second text, and maybe the spacing. This one gives me the option to adjust spacing. So we'll just stretch that out a little bit. And then colors, I'm just gonna choose my brand colors, which is gonna be red and black. Let's go ahead and play it back now. Looks nice, see the elements moving there and then animates out. Now, one thing to keep in mind, at least on some of them, mine definitely can, they animate out. Some of them don't allow you to change the duration of the title. In the case of ours, they do. So we can just stretch these out and it'll just last longer and then animate out to the point where you stretch them. And if I want another title very similar to this one, I can just copy, hit option, drag over, and now I have a second title that I can quickly come in here and edit to a different name. And it just makes this workflow of creating animated titles so much easier. So that's pretty much it for installing and using Mogra files. If you have any further questions, please let me know.